Hi YouTube, this is Mike, also known as the Wizard of Odds, and in this video I, I will be going over my solution to what I call the snowplow problem. It does involve integral calculus, just to warn you. And this is the first math video I've made like this, and it's also the first time I've used PowerPoint in at least 10 years. I didn't even know PowerPoint could be used to make a video like this. So you guys are kind of the guinea pigs, and I'm learning something about making videos here, and hopefully you're going to be learning something about math. So let's both try to learn something here. Uh, with the apologies out of the way, let's ask the problem. One morning it starts to snow at a constant rate. Later, at 6 a.m., a snow plow sets out to clear a straight street. The plow can remove a fixed volume of snow per unit time. In other words, its speed is inversely proportional to the depth of the snow. If the plow covered 10 miles from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and 5 miles from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., what time did it start snowing? In other words, the snowplow driver got woken up sometime shortly after it started snowing and it probably took him some time to get ready. But by the time he started plowing at six, there was already some snow at the ground. And at first he could go rather fast because the, the snow was rather shallow, but it kept getting deeper and deeper as he went. And that's why he covered more distance in the first hour than the second. So moving, so here feel, feel free to pause the video and work this out yourself and come back and see if we agree. Um, so what I love about word problems is that there's, there's two parts of it. First, you have to use your logic to actually set up the word problem to take, to, to take that thing that can be phrased in plain, simple English, hopefully, and then set it up into a mathematical formula. And then the second part is solving that formula. So as with many word problems, let's create some variables. So let's let X be the time between when it started snowing and 6 a.m. So we're trying to solve for X here. And T will represent the time between when it started snowing and any given time. And that any given time is going to be changing throughout the two hours that that snow plow is out there. And C is just some constant of, of speed. Now, here's the humdinger moment to this problem. Recall that if we have an equation of distance traveled by time, that if we take the derivative, we're going to get the speed at any given time. Therefore, the antiderivative of speed is going to be the distance covered. So let's try to set that up in an equation, shall we? So this equation is going to represent that 10 miles of the first distance covered in the first hour. So we want to express that as a function of x. So let me try to circle this key equation here. There we go. It took me a while to figure out how to do that. So this is the key equation here. This represents the speed from time x to x plus 1, in other words, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. And so if we take this, if we add up all those speeds over that hour, we're going to get 10 miles. And from here, it's just a matter of, of doing the calculus, which is pretty basic. Uh, I'm sure you know that the, the integral of 1 over t is the natural log of t. And I'm sure you know that the natural log of a minus the natural log of b is the natural log of a over b. So just taking, just doing simple calculus gets us to c times the natural log of x plus 1 over x. And let's, net, and let's next do the same thing for the second hour. That 5 miles traveled in the second hour can be represented as the integral or the sum of all the speeds from time x plus 1 to x plus 2. And taking the integral there, that's c from the natural log of t from x plus 1 to x plus 2, which works out to c times the natural log of x plus 2 over x plus 1. And now let's equate those two equations. So we're going to have to double the second one or the distance traveled in the second hour to equal that in the first hour. And so, so, so expressing the 10 miles two different ways we, can, we get c times the natural log of x plus 1 over x is equal to 2 times c times the natural log of x plus 2 
over x plus 1. So we can cancel out the c from both sides and then move that 2 from out front on the left to squaring x plus 1 plus x plus 2 because a times the natural log of b is equal to b to the power of a, as should be common knowledge. So here it's just a matter of doing the algebra. We are at x plus 1 over x is equal to x plus 2 over x plus 1 squared. Um, then we cross multiply and get x plus 1 cubed is equal to x times x plus 2 squared. And here it's just simple algebra that will bring us to x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. Then use the quadratic formula and we get x is equal to the expression of square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2, which works out to about 0 0.618034 hours or 37 minutes and 5 seconds. That's how much time it took the snowplow driver to get ready. Therefore, it started snowing at 5.22 and 55 seconds. So there's your answer. Um, I hope you understood it. I hope you found the problem as challenging as I did. I know I read this out of the actuarial review a long time ago, I think in the 90s. And but I think I've seen it popping up other places here and there. I think it's a great problem for integral calculus. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. And that's the end of this video. Um, in the unlikely event that you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or better yet subscribe. And if you didn't, please don't be too harsh in your comments on me. And I hope to see you in another math video. Um, but for now, I'm just going to see how this one does. Thanks for watching YouTube. Bye.